the 5x5 five five cube. Um, it's the biggest one, you know, so. Anyways, I'm trying out a new camera angle. Everybody can tell me how if they like it or whatever. Okay, so in the 5x5, five five, it's kind of like the 4x4. Four four. You start in the centers and work your way to the edges and then you solve it like a 3x3 three three. so in unlike a 4x4 four four, they have a defined center so you know where each side is so I usually start with like blue and green or white and yellow or whichever two opposite colors that you want you to solve the centers so here's the blue side what I do to solve the center is I get three lined up in each place and then I just put them around this. Here I'll, I'll give you a quick example. Okay, so here's the blue center. Here's a blue piece right here. So I'm just going to kind of turn it so when I turn this it'll line up right there. And as you know right now you could turn these layers and these layers and it doesn't really matter because you know we could screw up everything else and it only matters uh, later so here's another one we're looking for what would be like three by three edges so here's another blue one if I turned it this way then this way and then I would create like a pair or a row of three so then you kinda leave that alone for a second and make sure you keep that there so I'm going to look up here and I see that I have two lined up here and one right here. So I'm going to temporarily move oops, sorry, this one out of the way like this and then I'm going to turn this like that, the top layer, and then I'm going to turn this uh, counterclockwise just so when I bring this piece up it will line up into the place creating another row like that okay so over here we still have this row of three now we have another row of three so we're gonna place them on top of each other and now we have six of the blue centers in okay now we just gotta get the last pair of three using the same sort of thing except just try not to disturb this part that's already solved if you have for an example like a piece right here like in the corner or in the middle here just move it out of the way so you can you know work with it okay so here is the last uh, middle edge sort of thing okay so here's where it would be what would be next to it and here's the other one so I'm going to put this down out of the way in this case I'm just gonna do this twice the top layer twice that way when I bring this up it'll pair so now I got a nice little pair there and then this extra one I'll bring down so now it's down here I'll flip this up and bring it back up I got another row of three and over here, see, still got that, except now I, I just accidentally turned it. So now we basically have an example where we just turn it, and now we got the first center. Now, this is kind of a confusing part, sort of, to some people. It's where you have one center, and you got to go to the opposite center, which would be green in our case, and you're trying not to mess this up and still get it around this and how would you do such a thing well you find a piece that you need to get around the green okay so here's the green and here's another piece of it right here I don't know how well you guys can see that on the camera but okay so I'm gonna turn this up like that and turn this up like that as well because now if I move this over it'll be on top of this see how that works okay so I move that over 
it's on top of that. But now, I got that out of place. The blues. So, on this, we're just going to turn it out of the way, put that back in place. See, we still got the blue, but now we also have three greens. Okay, now we can just keep working at this and pairing other three, another three green pieces. Now, mostly when you're doing this, if you can just leave this side untampered with, that's great by using these layers, you know, to, you know, like move this down and pair it there, then that's great. But sometimes there's another green piece like right here, and you gotta move it out of the way temporarily disturbing the blue side but now I got this out of the way I'll put it back up and over so the blue is still solved the green that we want is still there but now we have more green pieces out here to work with so here's a green one and here's you know I don't know how I describe it I'll just call it an edge for now so I'm gonna bring this down to pair those two like that and another corner right here flip it once or twice and now when I bring it down it'll create another pair of three or sorry it's quite difficult to use camera angles okay so brought it down now I got another row of three three and that's all blue okay so now the thought how do I get this on top of this without destroying this so I okay so you do this and you see it does the green but it also ruins the blue so what I do is okay I got the green still over here blue still solved what you do is you flip this twice temporarily putting this out of the way so it's not going to be disturbed if I turn this. So I turn that once and flip this back up. And what we're doing in this is see I have three here and three here on the blue and since blue and green are opposite that's exactly how I want them because they're placed in the right places. So I flip it over and you got it. So now you have that and okay so now you have basically two-thirds of this side this side still completed and now we just gotta look for the last edge okay so here it is right here I'm and here's another one of the corners I'm gonna move it so when I bring this up or sorry I was looking at the camera this up it's gonna pair those two and I'll just bring this back down because that'll bug me otherwise okay and now we gotta find the last one, which is right here. Bring that down, pair it up three again, and now you see right here, you got the three, blue solved, green, partway solved, and these are the last three. So what I'm gonna do is temporarily put these out of the way again, move this over, now that disturbs the blue, but that doesn't matter. Because now I'm putting them in the right places, blue is opposite of green. So I move that over and you have two solid centers. And it's been eight minutes already so I'll end this first video and the next video will show how to solve the rest of the centers. Thank you everybody.